Hey, macro, macro, we don't care. We do it all those summer days. Call us crazy normals, but we're not. Yeah, call us crazy normals, but we're not. You can call us crazy normals, but we're not. Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Rhino, Reverend, Beer. This is Dortmunder Gold from the Great Lakes Brewing, Brewing Company in Cleveland, Ohio. 5.8% alcohol. This is a gold medal winner at the uh. World Beer Championships and at the Great American Beer Festival. Crazy. It says it's as good as gold, hence the reason for the gold medal on it. So it's being called Dortmunder Gold? Yep. Well, I don't know about the name, I'm just saying the gold medals, because, you know, it's as good as gold, and it's won gold everywhere. Mm -hmm. gold, it's a gold, handcrafted gold. gold lager. If you didn't know, it was the gold lager. Mm. So, so it's the gold family. lagers you're used to would be, like, Canadian, and Bud, yep. and Coors, and... So this would be, like, their version of a macro beer? Mm -hmm. Like Joe Sixpack beer kind of thing? I don't know, we'll find out. That's what I would expect is just a better version of that. Yeah. Because I mean, More, uh, was it that's what the logger is. Yeah. It's yeah, it'd be like a Joe Six Pack with money. No, that's it. it's expensive. More the highbrow Joe Six Pack. So very golden colored. Mm -hmm. A lot darker than any normal one. Uh, some head. Uh, my cup is really warm, so my beer is going to be really warm because I just rinsed it out with a lot of hot water while I was Yeah, it. <laughs> no, so I did the rinse. Alrighty. It smells like just regular beer. Oh, yeah, I didn't even smell it, but yeah, regular beer. Yeah. Regular lager. Yeah. Which is great right off the bat because there's so many craft breweries to try to make a lager something different than yeah. it is. You know what? It's just supposed to be refreshing, yeah, it's cold, it's beer, and drinkable. Like that's what it fits into. Like the epitome. Like I want a beer, not I want something fancy. I want something fruity. I want something like really hoppy or really malty. Blah blah blah. It's like, give me a beer, like movie style. You walk up to the bartender. What can I get you? Two beers. There's no name brand. Just two beers. They hand you fucking indiscriminate beer. That's yeah, this is um. Uh, there's nothing to complain about. It's easy drinking. It's soft. It's it's smooth, uh, light bodied. A little bit of malt. A lot hoppier than you're used to with a macro brew, but about a, about average for your average craft lager. Yep. Um, a little bit of hoppiness just just emanates there. It sticks around, but it's so small that it's not going to turn anybody off. No, yeah, no, it's not. It's not the way that's what you're thinking that it's going to be, or because there's not there's not a scent of it at all. So, you know, no, there's not really the concern. You know what it kind of reminds me of? And it, it doesn't taste like that, but just the way it lasts and lingers, it kind of reminds me of, like, the Euro skunking. The yeah. Euro, the Euro lager skunk, just yeah, how yeah. it's just there. It's not anything noticeable, really, but it's there. Yeah. I actually like this. Um, do I personally feel it should be a Whoa. world champion and all that? Everybody else got to go with who are they against. Well, yes, that's the same as any world championship thing, yep. right? Like who entered? I'm a two-time Canadian champion, but one of the times I didn't have to fight anybody any good at all. <laughs> and the other time I actually had to beat somebody. Yep. Like, I had to beat somebody each time, but there was one time there, were, there was no chance I was Not losing. Not competition, there was actually competition. So this could have been yeah, it, a bunch of great beers, or just, yeah, you are the best out of a shitty bunch. But, I mean, if you're looking for a logger that's a logger, how do you pick the best, you know? Like, most lagers should all come out about the same. Yeah. And I mean, I like this. I'll give it an 825. I would drink it again. I would buy it again. Um, oh, well. It is... That's why it's <laughs> yeah. It is a uh, American craft brew, so it's going to be like 899 probably for a four-pack, I'm guessing, because most of their stuff is 899 for a four-pack. But, uh, yeah, 899 for a four-pack, still cheaper than buying a uh, six-pack here, so I would buy it. Yeah. Same, 825. Nothing bad about it in the slightest. Like it is, it's what I go with a beer. Yep. Like that's just the opinion you're talking about with anybody. Some people don't know or give a fuck about beer. They just want to drink a beer. This totally works for that. Just drinking a beer. Yep. Thank you guys. Bye.